Here's my problem. We have a problem in America with two types of people. The two types of people we have a problem with are local law enforcement that play into a shop pretending to be regular people and interfering with people online because a manager who is literally out of time in her job and an employee that is a liar on behalf of a company and corporate brand is destroying the rights of people like you or like me for moving their life forward. Twice now in relationship to borrowing a Wi-Fi account that is allegedly free to any shopper who is a part of the Staples store, I've had my social media accounts abused by the elementary, educated, oriented young men who are working at the store. And I can only tell you this based on the fact that they walk outside the door and next thing I know, I've got a problem with one of my social media accounts. Now my guess is that in their marvelous network and in their marvelous IT department or their marvelous IT room where their network resource and network computer is, you've got someone going in there, maybe even the female manager named Deb. But what I can tell you is I'm not being abusive of your network. I am taking advantage of a free Wi-Fi that has been quality and good in order to move myself back to a job and employment and income and revenue. Now, if your company that serves business people is upset by this, then you need to go to prison. If it's some other little black bastard of Satan doing that, and I don't mean that in dispersion to any race, I'm talking about the choice of being in a displaced community, not in trouble, but not in line with the Lord. If you are using my telephone to abuse me, meaning the one that was stolen when I was near a black ownership oriented liquor store, and I was not drinking, of course, I simply was sitting in a space and I was out of the way and I was having one of my narcolepsy situations go on, I was asleep and that cell phone was inside my inner jacket pocket, literally plugged in to allow me the right to see my things. But what I don't like is constantly having to reapply myself to my own social media accounts. I find it highly offensive that we do have a certain amount of the gay and trans community who like to cyber hack people that are not living out loud. When I talk about these things, I'm talking from the perspective of some of my friends that have shared very private information with me and asked me long ago to be a part of the research for that community. What I can tell you most definitely is that the people who live their life in total life balance, who have totally made a full-on transition, who have totally made a full-on ability to do things, who are not trying to hurt people, are the people who are the most successful in their own lives, in their own love relationships, in their own communities. But the black bastards of Satan who come in from other countries with different moralities and different philosophies about our laws are harming America most of all. But we have our own internal people that are abusive of people through technology, that are intrusive on people's lives. And while I was on campus, I had one of those constantly harassing and haranguing me and stalking me. But what I can tell you about these people and their illness of mind is that they're out of control because they're out of balance in their life. When I talk about this, I am absolutely furious. I'm actually completely, totally, utterly angry. And I think any human being that's being constantly attacked when they're in the middle of struggle would feel like that. 